When it comes to new users getting acquainted with Box Cutter, it can seem daunting with the amount of hotkeys that are available. And for that reason, we've made it available where whenever you press N, you can bring up your end panel and go to the box cutter panel. And from here, there'll be an area dedicated to displaying hotkeys on the screen. So if I stop my animation and just perform a box cut, you can see that now the end panel has expanded to display all the available hotkeys for changing between the various types of cutters and different types of operations you can perform. Most of the time, you're not gonna need every single hotkey on screen because you'll just be clicking and dragging and performing your cut and then releasing. However, there may come a rare occasion in which you may need to draw a shape, press tab in order to bring it to live, maybe use B for the hotkey of bevel, press E to perform an extrusion, which will require that we get out of view and look at it. From here, we can also press X in order to shift our type into something else. Uh, we can also see that there's a hotkey of H that if you press H, you can actually toggle your shape from being shaded to being just a wireframe display, which makes it easier to see what's going on when you're moving it around. We can also see other hotkeys of interest here, like alt scrolling to change your particular cutter, but also shift F to flip the shape. But I just wanted to do a small note to letting users know that the hotkey list is available and we're always updating it to make sure that users are always able to get the most out of their box cutter experience.